Hello everyone, I am Neoxenok, and this is my Let's Play of Resident Evil Zero. So, yeah, it uh, looks like I'm having a little bit of trouble with the bat. I've also decided to start transplanting all of the... Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. really wish that button had a slightly different placement, but anyway... I have decided to start transplanting all of my stuff from the mansion. Our training facility, I'm sorry, uh, to the new location, and part one at a time, huh? And partly that's just to uh, better prepare for the next thing. So I'll have you carry that stuff, but I mean, mostly I'm just going to leave it. She doesn't even really need to carry any of that. I could just leave it all here, but it is easier to exchange it than to find out where it is in the ground and pick it up. But it doesn't really matter. So I'll move everything here, and then when I move the... Uh, uh, that's not even the right one. When I move the observatory, this will also mean I'll never have to go back to the training facility again, unless the game directs me there at a later time, which, uh, from looking at, this, at the maps, I'm guessing not. I think I have gotten everything that I can out of the training facility, because I think there's one or two more areas to go to. Bye, guys. Main thing is that I'll just have to avoid them, and they are fairly easy to avoid. But uh, backtracking to the facility means I have to go through some stupid monkeys and waste ammo, and yeah, this this being a little bit time-consuming and annoying because of the complete lack of uh, Uh, item boxes makes this ten times more irritating than it should be. But that's the world we live in. So, yeah, I'd rather just uh, pick up the extra things and take it with me. Then... Yes, even the hook shot. Come on. Gas canisters, too. I'm carrying too much stuff. This is fine. So what I'll have to come back for... Are, uh, I think I've gotten everything. I mean, except for the healing items, obviously. The, because I have to run a, uh, past them once or twice, uh, two or four more times, I'll probably take a little bit of damage from them, but not too much. This is still ultimately going to prevent me from having to deal with any of this ever again. In fact, I'll leave these things around here. Ah, 
because for some reason the creators I really hate the fact that there are no item boxes in this game. I mean, seriously, it doesn't really uh, affect anything except the irritation of being able to move all these things along because it's more valuable to do this than to leave them behind. Can't even see what I left down here, but I know the shotgun is around here somewhere. I'll move it up just so I can see it better. I'll leave it here just because. Now I should be able to run and grab everything left inside the building. Come on. Okay. No, stay. Let's split up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, just stay right there. Okay, I still have some stuff left in that room. And things I don't really need. I can leave those there. So, yeah, just the healing items. Uh, a pair of herbal mixes that are 100% recovery. Uh, one green herb. And a tank of gas. Saddened. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. They don't really reset to a location, do they? possible to knife them to death. I mean, obviously it's possible, but from some kind of safe position where I can't get damaged. I know those can uh, sometimes exist. I mean, I've used them before in uh, Resident Evil 1. I don't know, I could probably grab a knife and see if I can. But I really don't want to risk taking any damage if I can help it. So, have we gotten everything? I could probably grab the one of the knives. So the only thing I could think to do it is if I can get to... Oops. Uh, no, get that off. The only thing I could think that could possibly qualify is if, uh, is if from the vantage point of the stairs, I uh, reach out and stab them with the knife. I could even take two knives. Too bad you can't dual wield in this game.
kind of amazes me amazes me just how backwards this game is in a lot of ways compared to Resident Evil 3 or Code Veronica. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a few ways in which it's a step forward. I really do like the uh, two-person mechanics that it has going on. No, 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 no. Ah! Had to happen once. But he's still fine, it seems. Not fine, I'll take the stupid green herb. Well, that was a waste, but I have everything now. somewhere else. Yeah. That's not what I intended to do. There's no safer place to leave a can of gasoline than next to the, your important healing items. Ingestible healing items, I might add. Alright, come on. This is my shotgun. Molotov cocktail will do her any good inside the place. So she can carry the ink ribbon because I'm going to have her save inside the place anyway. But now we don't have to go back in. Unless for some reason I really need that hunting rifle. We've seen all this before. We don't need to go through all of this again. Come on. So, I suppose I could just leave everything in here. Um, she, in particular, is going to need to carry the grenade launcher because that's what I intend to use against the, uh, the bat monster. The man bat. Or just the giant bat. Is that the hook shot or the grenade launcher? It's hard to see from here. Important for later, but not now. I think this is everything I need. <sighs> Let's see, what was in that room was another ink ribbon, which uh, 
Where's that tablet? Oh, she already put it in there. So what was in that room was some... Uh, Shotgun shells, some more napalm grenades, and uh, hold on. Actually, let me bring him with me. think there was actually let me pull up residents of evil or wherever it is that thing I used uh, evil resource so I believe there was just three items in that one location which was uh, the shotgun shells the the napalm grenades and the the uh, that what you call it the ink ribbon. So let's see. Past the train, uh, training facility, past the tra basement. So next up is the laboratory. On normal mode. There is an herb outside that I believe I missed. Yeah, it was just those three items. But there is an herb outside that I missed. And when I do this game again, I'll have to try it on hard mode. So many stuff that is so much stuff that just isn't around. That must be about the only difference, is just the fact that uh, the harder modes just strip resources away from you. It'd be fun to play it that way. Or, uh, at least after I get used to this game more. Let's go find that herb so I can recoup my herb related losses. That was that noise. There must be something back. It's not, it doesn't seem to be getting any power. Okay then, well, whatever, uh, the herb must be on the other side. There must also be something that so sounds like it's walking with wet claws. Probably a hunter. Have all the things. Go 
go forward. So in this way, I can save in the room and uh, try to get the best battle against the giant bat that I can. I swear, this church looks like it's right out of Resident Evil 4. I'm certain I've said that before. After the battle, we can move everything in here, I guess, or the next best major stop location. There's a typewriter. Record data? Why, yes! By the 21st save, she finally goes to church. And with that, we'll leave this off for next time. Take care and goodbye.